Everybody ready for a good time? Yeah. Everybody ready for a laugh? Yeah. I had a friend of mine whose young daughter moved down here from Virginia. And she was going to St. John Fisher College. Virginian, they're not used to snow. She said, Dad, I, I'm taking the car. She said, I don't know how to drive in snow. Don't worry about a thing. If you get into a blizzard, you get into a situation, wait for the snowplow. Wait for the snowplow, he'll get you home somehow. Okay. She gets out of her, she got out of the dorm, she gets in the car, she drives a little bit, and the snow is coming down like crazy. She pulls off the road into some place. She says, oh my God, turn the windshield wipers on, can't see a thing, get out of the car, can't see a thing. The snow is just coming down Galley West. She has no idea what to do. Eureka, a plow. The plow starts going by. She puts the car in gears, runs off. She's following this plow, taking a right, taking a left, taking a right, staying right behind him. After about 25 minutes, the plow stops. The driver gets out. He comes back. He knocks on the driver's window. She winds it down, and she said, yes, sir. She said, young lady, you've been following me for the 20, for last 25, 30 minutes. Are you okay? And she says, yeah, we just told to follow the plow. He said, honey, I'm plowing Walmart's parking lot. I don't know how long... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Face to Face Time with the Schnackies. With tonight's guest host, Andrea Varelli and Patrick Ashley. Hey, here we are. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm having a hard time hearing. One so second. Andrea is, is not on mic huh? right now because she doesn't know how to turn her mic on. Andrea, you know Andrea, turn you know on what? your mic. You know what? It's live and I just went big right then and there. I had you guys improv. That was the plan. <laughs> Thank you. How are yeah. you doing? How are you? Oh. Good. I'm so excited to be here. And um, by the way, hi, I'm Andrea, uh, Andrea Borelli. I'm part of the Schnacky Players here and, and uh, excited to be here. And the guy over there, oops, that way. Who oh, are you? You, you. Oh, Patrick. You. I'm kind of the producer, director, all around guy, video guy, whatever needs to be done kind of guy. And, uh, yeah, you know, opening that the opening the show like that is the only way to open the show really because he tells the best jokes and he does it so well and uh it really felt good it felt like a show which we would it, be that, doing you know, tonight in normal I know, time. And we miss we miss everybody this is crazy I, we want to be with you we, we want to we do but but so we decided to do this and uh yes. this is I, i'm so excited and and i hope I hope you guys really enjoy what we're doing. Every night is going to be different. So, it is. Um, you know, it's going to be exciting. So, we're doing nine shows yeah, just like we normally would Thursday, yeah, Friday, and shows. Saturday for three weekends in February. So, please join Absolutely. us for all of them. <laughs> and so. you know what? If you are yes. busy and have a life and, you know, have things to do, um, you could always come back and see us on Facebook or on YouTube because it yeah. automatically records. Mm -hmm. So, if you miss, Right. Just come back, yes, because we want to see you. So this is cool. So that so Patrick, uh, March gave us yes. quite a situation, didn't it? March last, and March. it's still the gift that keeps on taking. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, we couldn't do a show this year, obviously, because we couldn't do a show. Uh, Broadway shut down. We're shut down, but we're not going to let that keep us down because we're snackies and we just don't do that. So we just. We don't let a little thing like COVID stop us. I mean, you know. So what no. we did was we got a virtual show together and uh, we went through some old clips. We made some new clips in a COVID safe way. And uh, that's what we're gonna be showing over the next three weeks, so. So we're gonna start our journey um, and, and tell mm -hmm. you that um, we got all the directors together in June because I was looking at what was happening and Broadway was closed till January and I'm thinking it's not happening. So we got all our directors. So we get a picture of all of our beautiful directors. Hey, there how are you guys doing? Hi. There you go. So, so we got Mo McHugh. 
top yep. left, and yep. then me, and then underneath me is Martian Ashburn. That's you on the Marshall. left, and in the center is uh, our patron the saint uh, Travis Piper. So, Travis, yeah. Hey, okay, Trav. So we, we decided that you know we had to do something different, so we sent a letter and embarrassing moment of my life, million twenty five. But for Snacky, this year it was fifty five. We sent a letter, but we ended up sending the letter to all the patrons and not the actual people in the, in the group. So Dave Chandler being our, our, our um, I don't know what he is. He's our special person. Um, he was on Zoom he's like, hey, my brother-in-law told me we're having a virtual show. I was like, oh no. Um, anyway, but we moved on and uh, this is just one year. This is not like a normal thing. We will be back yeah. in 2022. And uh, we, uh, we, so then we solicited, not really solicited, we actually said, hey guys, what do you think? And Maria mm -hmm. and Nancy, who we have two pictures of, yay, there's Maria there and Nancy on the right, Maria's on the left, and they are so cute. And uh, they came over to my house, I made them some tea sandwiches and, and tea, and um, we talked about Snacky's Got Talent, so that was their idea. So they wanted to have us do mm -hmm. new shows. And then we're, why don't you talk about the clips, Patrick? And Kenny yeah, well, and so we wanted to include some of our past stuff because we've got a ton of material. So Karen Hanley, um, the picture we'll show here, is um, said, "Hey, you know, you do got to include these old shows because we got a lot of great material, and we've re recorded just about every show except I think one." And yep. so we said, "Yeah, we're going to do that." So what we did first was we we had to get all the shows digitized and so forth, which I did. And uh, we had um, we had a little uh, get together in the backyard of Travis Piper's yard and we'll show that clip. And uh, this is actually rotary, but this is the setup we had. And we kept people we were apart and so yep. forth. We were outside enjoying the weather. And we just showed clips and said, you know, what do you think of this one? What do you think of that one? Include it, not include it, whatever. And, and we, uh, we narrowed it down. Too. Yep. So clips. We had six people is, look uh, at the pictures. At the yep. pictures we'll and all that. There's, there's me. Yep. There's Bonnie, and I think that's June. That June. I don't know. <laughs> that's Elsa in the background. They were looking. Yep. It's great. Yep. Looking through pictures and stuff. So we had plenty of stuff to look through. Right. And so we, like I say, um, Travis dropped off this great big box of, oh, the old tapes. And I got them digitized and put up on YouTube so people could look through them easily and identify clips they thought might want to be included. And so we figured out, like, how are we going to spread this online? How are we going to do this and make it look good? So enter, I think you know this guy, Andrea, what's his name? I, I do, he, he's my brother. And I actually did this uh, format with Union Star um, in June mm -hmm. and Christopher, my brother, Chris Carosa, uh, he can show himself because if he wants to. Hey! There he is, oh God. He's a Trekkie, he likes Star <laughs> Trek. God bless, Saturday nights, pizza and Star Trek and my childhood i'm still yeah. scarred but it's fine now i show it in my classroom um so anyway i <laughs> chris actually is the guy behind uh the the platform and he uh generously along with the sentinel um allowed us to do this tonight and the next eight nights after tonight so yay yeah. chris we appreciate it chris thank you very much thank you so, very much we're gonna start with the fact that now I understand why Shakespeare wrote his best work during the plague. Cause literally <laughs> I, we feel like we're Shakespeare right now and it's the plague and yeah. that has opportunity. Doesn't it Patrick? It does have opportunity. And, um, we wanted to keep the schnackies going. We didn't want it to fade this year, even though we had this crazy pandemic stuff. So, you know, the schnackies is a family really. It's a fun family. And um, whenever you come in just for one show, you're part of the family, it doesn't matter. Or if you stay around since 1992, like I have, um, you're part of the family. And um, that's what it's all about. And that's why we love it so much. 
And of course, our audience isn't having a great time during the long winter months. So yes. let's talk about, you know, keeping people together about our Facebook page. So our Facebook I am, page. Yeah. Can we just hype up was, Margo now? We got to hype up Margo. Yeah. We got to hype up Margo. Margo is our is our one of our younger members who's been on stage a couple of times now and she is our social media maven and doing real great with that she grew our audience on facebook and uh youtube and all these platforms and she really helped propel this in a social media fashion so we really appreciate it. we love you margo you're awesome and um yes we got the heart that i can't do but um yeah because you're love a boy you very so much. let me tell you thank you, you. I, can I jump in? Because I know you know I like to go jump. ahead. Um, so Margo's a former student of mine, um, and she you'll hear her story on Saturday. But she uh, gr she graduated from Brockport this this December, and this mm -hmm. was you know social media was her major. And so we said you know when we were figuring this out, we decided hey, we should really build our audience on a social media platform. And so we decided to use Facebook. So. Mm -hmm. What was our first thing that we did, Patrick? Well, we, we created the Facebook page and then we started highlighting people uh, that we wanted to uh, point out, calling them snacky spotlights. And that's people yeah. from, uh, from years back up to present day. And uh, we would feature them in a little, uh, a little vignette, maybe in costume or something with a little write up about them. And, yeah, we have how a they came to of join the Schnackies and their contribution and so forth like that. I think we do. We have yeah. a couple of these, or no? yeah, we do. Okay, there yeah, we go. there it is. Yeah, so we, have, so we got Tom Morrissey, who's relatively new, and that's your uh, first cousin once removed. <laughs> and uh, great voice on him, awesome addition. In the middle, we got uh, Brian Piper, who was Travis Piper, the founders. That's his son. He's He's still active in it. And then we got Nan Elliott, who was in it many, many, many years ago. And um, hopefully we'll be back, well, soon, hopefully, because we miss her. So these were, that was the first thing. And we decided to do this, like, for a couple of months. We did every Sunday. Every mm -hmm. Sunday you get it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and then mm -hmm. we decided to do the spooky stories for October because it's Halloween. And there's this one yeah. clip. Uh, this is, you know, there's always a story that everybody knows and there's different versions. And the one right. story that I heard when I was in uh, the Gallup Gallapalooza back in 2007 was about the cape that got locked in the classroom. So we're going to show you a clip right now of this mon of this montage. It's on Facebook, but we want to show it because it's great. We were about to go on stage. Frank Russell was the villain. We were all ready to go on. Frank Russell was looking for some prop or card part of his costume. He knew it was in this classroom. We were getting ready to go on stage, and somehow the door of the men's dressing room got locked, and nobody, the key would not work. He went down there. Somebody had closed the door, and we didn't have a key to that classroom. Everybody was in a panic. That door got jammed up. The key was not working in it. Uh, several people tried. Travis tried it. Uh, Paula only tried the key. Uh, the key wasn't lost. Everybody, there was the one key that Travis gets that is sort of a universal key for all the classrooms. We were panicking because Frank's villain cape was locked in that room. We couldn't find the cape. We couldn't find the cape. That's right. And at that time, we didn't, you know, now we have several capes, I guess, but this was the cape. And he had to have it. So we we all just were like in a tizzy and nobody knew what to do. I mean, we yanked and jiggled and cajoled and swore at the, at the lock and it just wasn't letting go. Somebody said, let's pray to Monsignor. <laughs> And it was shortly after Monsignor died, and I think I, I think it was me. I think I had the mask card from Monsignor, and I set it on the doorknob and just walked away and said prayers. We decided since you know we were all carrying a, a funeral card that celebrated Monsignor's life. 
that why not just leave that against the uh, set that on the doorknob and it stayed in place and we all went about doing our business we came back a few minutes later and the door opened right up we went in and got the cake somebody found that prop under a table someplace you know what happened nobody knows but whatever it was it worked and then somehow it appeared i don't even remember where we found it or whatever and i went back and um, got my asked Travis for the key and went back with the key and it was uh, just a couple of jiggles with the key and it just unlocked it was and there were all kinds of stuff things like that that were just what you know what just happened kind of things that, yeah that there were, were several there were, yeah, I can't remember the other things, but at the time we were like, oh my God, Monsignor certainly is still here. But it uh, seemed that Monsignor lend, uh, did lend a hand in uh, letting, making the show go on. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> right, and there is so lots of stories like that, you know, isn't there? I've heard a few. There, You've had some experiences. There are. I've had some experiences, I, but yeah. good stuff, not I, bad stuff. Like no, I I think that so 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 we have the Schnacky stars where the people that have been on our been been in our group that have gone to heaven with Monsignor, and I really believe first of all they're probably really confused because we don't have the stage up right now, and they're like, what's going on? <laughs> but the other thing is, is they like to mess with us, especially on opening night. At least I think it's them. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's my yeah. mag imagination, but it's a fun story. So then. Yeah. Okay, October, we December. did a weekly thing. No, November, we oh. did 30 days. Oh, no, I forgot. Right? Yep. So I'm that yep. turned into be, that was a great idea in August, but then we have to do like a thankful video every like day. So poor Margo was mm -hmm. like begging people, like, please be thankful for something. And what's really cool is if you go through the, like the page, you could see all everything that people were thankful for. And I swear everyone had something different. It was, it was really cool. And yeah. then December, Patrick, what happened? So December, um, a few of us got together and read some uh, stories, you know, maybe for kids or something. Dave um, Chandler, had a special guest. who is, mm -hmm. yes, who is a special oh, guest, oh, 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 oh. his well, famous well, helper. There I'm he is. I'm so glad you're here. I am getting ready to read my favorite Christmas story. Twas the night before Christmas. Do you know that one? Well, would you like to listen? Oh, I hope you would. This is a great story. It was written by Clement C. Moore, and it was first published in Troy, New York, in 1823. That was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, it's been such a crazy year, hasn't it? Santa understands. Mm -hmm. I hope you all are staying safe and staying healthy, and I hope you're doing your part to keep each other safe we and healthy. Oh, I got to show you something. Look what Mrs. Claus made me. <laughs> it's a mask, and it's got snowflakes on it. So now I can visit all your homes without any problems. And I'm so looking forward to seeing the trees and the stockings again this year. Aww. Thank you, Santa. Awesome. Here's yes, here. thank you, Santa. Yeah, he does it every year. And um, it's, I mean, he does it for other places, volunteers. Very, very good man, yeah. good heart. In fact, all of, the, of our members are good hearted people and uh Later. just want to say patrick um you know yep. Amber, she told us on facebook that she loved us and missed us and we just want to give her a shout out because ann's our prop person hey, ann. And she's, she's we love you ann you yeah and ann is a very helpful very very helpful person if you need something done boom it's done by yeah. ann so don't mess almost with before ann. you even know you have to ask yeah mm -hmm. it's crazy we do it. um does. So, so we not ahead. only stopped there, we kept going with some other stuff we did. And uh, this thing involved your mother. We brought your mother yes. into the family, I guess, kind of officially now, sort of. So yeah. And we my did a cross-country cooking show. Go ahead. Yeah, we have a picture of that. Ah, so there it is. So those, yeah, those cookies. So Margo and I, like, Margo's in California, and I'm here, so we missed each other. So we wanted to help cook. and. Lemon cookies are a family staple. So the green ones are almond cookies. The pink ones are anise and the yellow ones are lemon cookies. And Margot shows hers in California, mine in 
uh, New York. My mother was on there, loved roasting me. It was great. It was so much fun. We're going to have more of these episodes. It's just, you know, it's a lot. And Patrick mm -hmm. was there filming. And my dad actually is the oh, official yeah. taste tester. It's very cute. Uh, and then it January, we had high hopes, but we had to rehearse this. So nothing happened really except yeah. the spotlights. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then. We had a lot of work. We had some stuff to do. Yeah. And now we have the show this year, this, this um, month in February. Uh, and so thanks, Smarks. Uh, we couldn't have done it without you. And, and, and I really would encourage those of you guys watching to like our page if you haven't already. Um, you yes. know, like our page on Facebook, follow us. We are raring to go and we're going to continue because in the spring, probably May or June, Margo's actually creating a documentary of our group called No Small Parts. And so we'll be able to have that documentary as well mm -hmm. on there and you guys can come and see it maybe. So um, we're looking forward to that. So now we have our first commercial break. So take it away, Chris. Yep. Imagine yourself communicating with a difference. Pandimensional Solutions helps you do this. Whether live spectator events, taped broadcasts, or real-time audience-engaging programs, you can benefit immediately from the tools Pandimensional Solutions will share with you. Do you want to make a difference? Contact us at pandimensional.com. Hi, honey, I'm home. Here's the mail. What's this, Jane sees? A very large insurance bill from Large Lizard Insurance Company. Jane's angry and shouts at Dick about the high bill. Dick is angry and shouts at Jane about the high bill. Jane suddenly gets an idea. Why not call the good people at J.D. Chapman Agency? They'll help us out. Jane talks on the phone while Dick listens. Jane's happy with what she hears. The good people at J.D. Chapman Agency can save them money and give them better coverage. Dick is happy too. The good people at J.D. Chapman Agency can take care of everything. Why don't you be like Dick and Jane and contact J.D. Chapman Agency at 315-986-4062. Or if you're like Dick, he prefers using the interweb and types in jdchapmaninc.com. Dick and Jane live happily ever after. Each week, our community makes history. Each week, you make history. And each week, there's only one source to turn to for the first take on history. You know what that is? Subscribe to the Sentinel right now to discover the history being made in your own backyard. The Lennon Honey Lake Falls Lima Sentinel. More than just your news, it's your history. All right. Hey, so that was great. Um, so now. we have uh, yeah, what? We're officially a program now. We got commercials. I mean, come we have on. Commercials, right? So Bruce Chapman yeah. is, has been a member of ours for a while, and uh, we appreciate him so much. And uh, we have that. Commercial that was his son and girlfriend in there. Yep. Very cute. Very cute. Love the light bulb. That's my favorite part. And Pandimensional <laughs> and Sentinel um, are also sponsoring us as well. Uh, so thank you very much all of, to all of our sponsors. Uh, we really couldn't do this without you. And also, you realize we couldn't do this without you guys either, right? I mean, you guys are the reason why we're here. Our audience is the most important part of who we are. I mean, yeah, it's fun to put a show together, but if nobody watches it, then, you know, why do we even do it, right? So we really miss everything about you guys and and if you know you've never heard of us before or you're just kind of watching just because you know that's what you're doing and you're saying wow these people are really cool you know go on mscptheater.org click on contact or you want to join us and you know give us your information we'll we'll talk and if you're interested in doing props or costumes or or backstage or, or being on stage and performing we are it you know we want to hear from you and also um, we also uh, are, are a nonprofit agency, so we uh, are very interested in, uh, get, you know, keeping our thing going. 
And Patrick, you have something to say about that? Well, yeah, we um, we have some old equipment <laughs> and uh, we could sure use an upgrade for some of our equipment, especially our lighting equipment and audio equipment, because we want to give you the best show we can. But uh, we do need to upgrade. So if you could throw us a few bucks, um, we would certainly appreciate your donation. And also, um, you don't have to be an experienced person to be in this show, either on stage or off stage. The first time I did it, I had never been in a play, period. I mean, nothing. The only acting I did was, you know, telling my mother about how sick I was and couldn't go to school. So, I mean, I couldn't. You must have been really good at that, then. I was very good at it, um, mm -hmm. although my mother would take me to school in the uh, ambulance if she had to. But point being, you don't have to have any kind of experience. We'll find a place for you, whether you think it might be off stage for a while until you get a feel for it. Maybe you'd be on stage. Whatever you want to do is great. Just let us know. Go to mscptheater.org and um, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. And you know what would, would be great? If you just say a prayer for us or send us good vibes. That's yeah. that. We'll take that, too. I mean, really, we'll we're giving it to you. Give it back to us. Yeah. And speaking of good vibes, you can't yes. not feel good with free food, right, Patrick? That's right. That's right. We feed you at the show. It's popcorn. Yeah. And it doubles it, not only yeah. as nutritional value, but as an object to throw at our villains. Um, right. Which you'll it's better tradition that. Yeah, and you'll we'll see you part of that. You do throw the popcorn at the villain because that's yeah. a typical melodrama. But um, yeah. we also have beverages and oh. stuff you can you can drink. It's a good time, and it's a show for anybody. It's you can bring the kids. It's uh, it's definitely a family show, but it's for everybody. It's not um, hey, it's hey, not just hey, for kids you know. Either, so. You know what else, Patrick? We're uh, giving away else? free food every time. And this tonight, we're going to give away a free really? Parkside Pizza because y'all need to eat. You know what I'm saying? So Parkside Pizza yeah. in Bloomfield, great pizza, fed us many times. Um, so what you're going to do is the directions are on Facebook. You like our page. You know, you like our, our page. You comment with your information just comment say you want free pizza or hi margo or something like that and you like our page um so you like share mm -hmm. comment on facebook there's directions if you're on youtube please subscribe to our page and like mm -hmm. what what you see you know and then put a comment in the comment section let us know my zoom people hi zoom people love you um <laughs> you guys just your, your name in um, the the comment section and we're going to have a drawing and there will be a winner tonight. Now the only catch is is that you need to be watching this live. If you're watching this recorded yeah. it, the contest is over I'm very sorry. It's just for when we're doing this live and right now we are live. Okay, uh, If you're watching this recorded we're not live. Uh, but you, you can do it today <laughs> and at the end of the show we will uh, we will say who the winner is. So free pizza. Um, there's going to be a drawing and there will be a free giveaway every single night. Uh, so come back. There's different yeah. uh, vendors. Yes. So We're you ready for act two, my friend? We are. You got it. We are. Okay. So we're going to talk about what we call Schnacky's Got Talent. That's the new stuff we've produced this year. So we had some fresh content because our people have to create. I mean, it's just... It has to happen or they go bananas. So uh, we set up a studio in the church, uh, actually in the church community center basement in a classroom the church let us have. We brought green yes. screens, uh, lights, cameras. We set up a recording booth for uh, people that were doing songs and so forth. And it went really well. It actually did went yeah. very well. We have pictures, so we're going to show you these now. Oh, yes, we got pictures. Um, yeah, so these are. So, first the, of all, the, here. Yeah. Yeah, this is people, you know, discussing ideas on, you know, what kind of things could we do, what kind of skits, and this kind of thing. And then uh, here is a shot of the classroom. And like I say, we got, uh, we got the green screens, we got the lights, we got tables to sit at, and um, there's another angle. And here is our recording booth we set up. So 
Ah, and here's Jean Nichols, a uh, little candid of her, getting ready to do her flute bit, which is, I think, on Margot's show, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yep. And That's then Maria. Uh, you have Maria Halfman. Yep, she's doing her uh, skit that she and uh, Jeff Cook uh, cooked up. The parody. <laughs> so, yep. Yep. And there's, I don't know, That's some you. goofy Hope guy. You. Studying on the recording. You see the smoke yeah. coming out of your head here because you're you thinking can. so hard. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Victor and Christine, and they were they were doing some stuff. And there's ah. uh, Bruce and uh, Brian doing Hans and Franz. You'll see that next week. That was funny. That was very good. Yeah. There's me looking on yeah. to make sure the camera was getting it right. <clears throat> Yeah, and, and it's one of the props that uh, yeah, Maria Yeah, so you'll used. notice that. Yeah, you'll see that later on in in the thing. That we're notice doing. the can is Corona. <laughs> yes. So there's Brian. There's and Maria, Maria and doing a plexiglass. Yep, yep. a Travis so, yeah. Piper rope. And there's Tom. Oh, Don. Hi, Tom. There's Tom. And just know we're that be the reason Tom why. Later. Oh, Yep. And we leave it as cleaner than when we found it. Actually, Patrick did because he was the one that cleaned it. God bless you, Patrick. And that's what Thank it was. You. You're welcome. Patrick did a lot of work. We're going to be giving him a lot of kudos these nine days because he's he's been working real hard. And I always use the word we, but it's really him. So, you know, he busts on me all the time. It's, it's the French we. It's yes is what it's, you're saying. We, we. Yes, <laughs> we. Um, so... <laughs> This is the thing. Um, it's so exciting to to be able to to bring this to you. And everything, like I had, we had the windows open. We did the paperwork. Everything, you know, if you saw people without masks, that was because they were performing and they needed to speak. Um, and so, but I always had the windows open and everybody's like, Andrea, it's cold. I'm like, too bad. The window stays open. <laughs> um, so we, we really wanted to keep everybody safe. So when you see people together, and you're going to see examples of that tonight. When you see people together, they're actually separate and they're put together on the green screen. That's so, right. yeah. So, so are you ready to show some examples, Patrick? Because I think yeah, we're going to do it. our first clip. We're going to do our first clip with Dick Schoen, who opened the show, and he's talking a little bit about um, what it means to be in the group, what it means to be a schnacky. So, let's take a look. Another thing that I've learned by being a member of the Schnacky Troop is I have met some of the most <clears throat> wonderful, dear people that I had ever hoped to make. And some of them are still my best friends. When I, uh, my, my wife and my kids saw the first show, and it was a hoot. I'd never seen theater like that, you know, where you could boo and hiss and throw popcorn and act silly. And on the way home, I told Jackie, I said, if that group would have me, I'd like to join that. And she said, feel free, do it. She said, I said, well, if they'll have me, you know. And uh, I tried out the next year, and I was fortunate enough to get a, a part. And I, I, I am ever so thankful. Uh, Kathy and Travis have been instrumental in our life. In fact, uh, Travis and Kathy were best man and bridesmaid at June's my wedding. <clears throat> All of them. The new people are delightful, and I, 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 not involved as much as I used to be, but I'd like to get them, get to know them more, and I, I think that I could probably, maybe help them a little bit with, with, uh, energy, and respect, and chemistry, and speaking of energy, you know, Tom Morrissey is not here tonight. But Tom, if anybody ever watched Tom Morrissey act, you know where the word energy is. I was in the show Schnackablanca a couple of years back, and he had this piece of wood in front of him, and I swear to holy Moses that the guy was playing the piano. I was standing next to him, I was standing behind him, and I was standing in front of him, and I swore he was playing the piano. So if everybody, anybody wants to know what stage energy is, just watch Tom. He's a, he's a good, good attribute right there. Yeah. Absolutely. You yeah, know what absolutely. I love about that clip, Patrick, is how Dick, and this is Dick, Dick all the time, he always brings the best out in people. And 
the fact that he, he acknowledged Tom, you know, and he, yeah. he's got, he's gained so much for the group and he's willing to, to, to support the new members. I, I just, that's, that's who we are. Yeah. And Pops has been in it since, uh, I think the second show, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. <laughs> and pretty much so. hand, had his hand in every one uh, of them since. So you could tell he got, right. you know, a little emotional about it because he's made a lot of good friends. It's true. I have. I made a lot of good yeah. friends. I've met a ton of people. I've had a great time. And um, yeah, and it shows. But we do have a clip, Andrea, that shows Tom showing some serious energy. And I mean, wow. I mean, Go ahead. It'll oh, speak yeah. for itself. Yeah, let's do it. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number since the number one. Uh, Experience you'll ever know. Yes, it's the saddest experience you'll ever know. Cause one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. If I could that sing like that. <laughs> well, what is it about uh, awesome. your side of the family that can sing so well? It's crazy. Well, I don't know. We're Giordano's at heart. So, uh, yeah. So Giordano. this is the thing. This is so cool. Like you did, you edited all that. Like it was great. Like that, that's, you know, in this time of not being able to be together, we figured out a new way to have new acts. So, right. uh, Let's go to the next one because this one's important. This is uh, Travis's well-known master thespian. Gentlemen, now a moment with master thespian. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear audience, Friends, how very fortunate it is for you to have me as your presenter this evening, Master Thespian. Tonight, 
I shall be imparting to you two significant pieces of work. One on the subject of love, and the other tragedy. I love my lady with a deep purple love. She fascinates me like two flies struggling in a pot of glue. Her eyes are gray like twin ash cans just emptied with a dainty mist still hovering over them. Her disposition is as shiny as a ten cent shine, and her kisses are tender and gulashy. I love my lady with a deep purple love. It was a cold and windy night. A man stood on the street. His eyes were full of tears. His boots were full of feet. There was a tree on the hill, and that second to the hill. This has been a moment with Master Thespian. So oh you goodness. see, <laughs> tricky fingers, folks. Sometimes we hit the wrong thing, and sometimes we hit the right thing. Yeah. So here I we are. I thought we back. didn't pay we're the just... power bill or something there <laughs> for a second. And <laughs> if if we were paying, if you guys were paying attention, it's all good. Yeah. So yeah. Now... Yeah. Well, so now in, can in I introduce book? the next one? Yeah, I was going to tell you. So what's yeah. up next, Patrick? So next, we got another power outage, which is just fine. We'll still introduce it. So next, yeah. we have a young lady, Christine Halfman, daughter of Maria. And uh, she's going to do a very famous song by a country singer named Dolly Parton, Jolene. So, Christine, please, if you will.
Nice, nice. Very talented. Very talented young girl. Yes. Uh, yes. She was one of my former students as well. Awesome. And uh, very proud of her. Mm -hmm. And speaking of, we, uh, you know, we have our, another our, family our, we'd like to talk about. We do. This is a family show, by the way. If you've ever, never come to our shows, this is, you can bring, my son has grown up with this show. He comes to every show. It's very wonderful. And, um, oh, that's right. So, you know, the other thing is family, that's pizza. So if you still want to get into the contest and comment on Zoom, if you want to do that on YouTube, subscribe to our channel and put in a comment. Um, Facebook, there's the directions, like, share, and comment on Facebook. Uh, can't wait to, to get that drawing done. It's going to happen at the end of the show. It must be uh, now when it's live. If, if it, this is recorded, that's not going to work. But it's just live right now. All right. So who's the family, Patrick? So the next family we're going to talk about are the Donahues. Yes. Um, very musical family. And all of them have been involved with the show. There's the parents and the, the three kids. So we have Tim, who has been on stage. He's played music. He's done construction. He's done, um, well, he's done this clip that's coming up as well. Yes. We have his son, Brian, who has done yeah. just the same stuff that um, I alluded to with Tim. And he's also very talented with music. Sue, the mom, has, uh, let's see, she works on costumes yes. and she's been on stage, yeah. right? But she's also been, she's blessed us on stage and so has Lexi and Katie. And Lexi actually does our backgrounds. So, mm -hmm. and, and Katie helps, but Katie and Lexi have been on stage as well. And we'll highlight Lexi later on. But they're amazing. Yeah, full family thing. And we yeah. asked them, we said to... Um, we said to the Donnie, he was, hey, can you come up with a little something that we'd like to we'd like to feature you? Can you come up with a little music number or something that uh, we'd like to show? So this is what they came up with. This is this is uh, the father and son, and it's uh, the song is perfect for them. So let's roll it.
cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. A little boy blew in a man in the moon. When you come home, son, I don't know when we'll get together then. Dad, I know we'll have a good time then. Since retired, the sun's moved away. I called him up just the other day. I said I'd like to see you if you don't mind. He said I'd love to, Dad, if I could find the time. You see, my new job's a hassle and the kids got the blue. But it's sure nice talking to you, Dad. It's been sure nice talking to you. And as I hung up the phone, it occurred to me He'd grown up just like me The boy was just like me And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon The little boy blew in the head in the moon When you come coming home, son I don't know when we'll get together then Dad, I we'll have a good time then Thumbs up, thumbs up, beautiful, love it. Andrea, could you unmute your mic, my dear? Oh my God, you know, can't do anything with her. What can I tell you? This is my kid, this is Joey. This is very cute little <laughs> picture, 13 now. You know, all I gotta say is Harry Chafin, if he married an Italian woman, he wouldn't have that problem with his son because we would have kept him in line, you know, in the early stages, <laughs> you know? Okay. And not give they the did a keys great when he wanted them. Yeah, they did a great job. They, oh, they're they so talented. Um, love it. Love it. And what a they, great they, song they, to play, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's so sweet. A father Perfect. and a son. Very sweet. Yeah. Um, had to give a shout out to my baby, though. Sorry. Um, the mama moment. Um, That's so, You're entitled. Uh, Why don't you introduce this next talent for us? I will. So speaking of soon, so basically the Donahue kids... Uh, Lexi and uh, Brian were my students. Katie was my student, you know, in spirit. Um, and uh, so so it was cool that they're, and, and so another one of my students, Mike Raddy, who I call Miguel, um, I actually uh, became friends with his mom, Chris Raddy, and that was how I joined actually the Schnackies. She, she was one of those pivotal people that asked me to join. Um, and she is uh, a wonderful baton twirler. She is a world mm -hmm. renowned baton twir twirler, a champion. She judges world events. She goes all over the world. She is amazing. Um, so she is um, just, yeah, and, and she was our, is actually our coordinate, our choreographer and to work mm -hmm. with her is like working with her, her professional, you know, she, she does everything and she, she like figures everything out and it's just amazing. So I um, always had this dream when she twirled her baton um, that she would do it when it was on fire. So I asked her to do it for uh, Schnacky's Got Talent uh, and she did, but it wasn't inside because that would be a problem that mm -hmm. we were across from the fireman's house hall, you know, so yeah. it's probably bad, but she did it outside well ventilated. And uh, we're gonna see it now. So let's see what Chris okay. has to do. Oh, Chris.
Yay. Yes. Very good. Very nice. So if I tried honestly, that, I'd be feeling hot, hot, hot. You know what I mean? I be yeah, I'd be in a kiddie pool next door and as soon yeah. as it went under the lake, my butt would have been on fire and I have to run. <laughs> Look at how but I hope you guys notice the expertise that she used. I mean, that is the precision and professionalism she gives every time she does choreography. It is amazing. She made that look so easy and that was not. Um, and we are so mm. blessed to have her and her talents. And that's what Schnacky's Got Talent is all about. Um, and, yeah. you know, that's important. And, and speaking of world, Patrick, we, we, we have a lot of people yeah. that are um, throughout the world have joined us and, and, and they've been part of our show when they went back to their, their places in the world. So why don't you talk about the next one? For us. Yeah, we had to let them go. They so um, the first one I'll introduce is, is a kid called uh, Adam or man now Adam Tomac, um, who was an exchange student through Rotary with Travis and Kathy uh, yeah, a few years ago now, and he returned to the Czech Republic where he's from, and he became a dentist. So he we asked him for an update clip and said, hey, you know what's going on with you? Can you you know speak a few words about your experience with the Schnackies and this kind of thing, and uh, this is what he sent us. Hey guys, my name is Adam, and I come from the Czech Republic. I was an exchange student in 1997, 1998, living with Travis and Kathy Piper, and I got into the Schnecki Community Players in 1998 uh, to a show called um, Triple Play. And you know why I remember that? Because I still got the T-shirt. <laughs> And since then, and because of that, it has such a big impact on me. I've been playing theater all years. Oh, look at all those shows he's been in since. That's awesome. He got the bug. He got bitten. He did. Once you get the As show bug, you can stop. Yep. There it is. That's awesome. It's amazing how- I think there's a little surprise bit at the end though. Hold on a second. Yep. There he is, he's a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's, we have it's a dentist skip too how... that we have to look at sometime during this uh, three weeks. We will, we will, don't worry. We'll, ha you'll, we'll see it. Um, awesome. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing, Patrick, how much light we spread with this theater group and how much yeah. it touches a lot of people. So um, Leo Smith was one of those people that were, or was early on. Um, he he was a great person and he really helped the group technologically and things. And his daughter, Karen, yes, her name's Karen Smith now. Sorry, I wanted to get the right name. Uh, last Karen name, Elliott. But, uh, yeah, Karen Elliott right now. Sorry, Karen Elliott, mm -hmm. that's her new mm -hmm. name. She actually uh, went to New York and became a Broadway star person. I don't know what to call it, actor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. she worked on Broadway. And um, Leo, uh, we love Leo. And uh, Leo actually passed away last year. Um, and he wrote a letter before he passed on to Travis saying that he always wanted to get back on the snacky stage. So I remember we... Uh, we, we dedicated our show one Thursday night, I think it was the first Thursday night or the second Thursday night show to Leo and he had passed away that night or the night before. And it was just like, you know, Leo uh, like touched our hearts and we didn't even know him. I didn't know him, maybe you did. Um, and now we get to hear from Karen, his daughter, and she's got a great message. Hi, I'm Karen Elliott and I was a member of the inaugural season of the Monsignor Schnacky Players way back when. <laughs> At that time, I appeared in the melodrama Pure as the Driven Snow with my father, whom we lost to lung disease this year, and my brother, whom I played opposite, which was a little weird. <laughs> to know that this wonderful creative theater company has continued all these years brings me an enormous amount of joy. How wonderful it is that there is a home for people to get together and experience the power of live theater. Since I graduated from high school, after the inaugural season, I went on to earn a bachelor's and a master's degree in music from the Johns Hopkins School, the Peabody Conservatory, 
and the Juilliard School, respectively. Since then, I have been very fortunate to have a wonderful career as a professional singer and actress, both on Broadway and national tours and performing regionally, even sometimes overseas. Some of you may have seen shows I'm in when we've toured through the Auditorium Theater in Rochester, or maybe you met me when I was in New York on Broadway. In addition to my career, the skills that I've learned, starting way back with the Schnacky Players, enhanced and informed the various side hustles I've had in my life. They've taught me to be mentally and emotionally flexible and a very quick pivot, which was enormously helpful when my entire industry was shut down in March due to COVID. My training has provided me a huge bag of soft skills to draw from in virtually every circumstance. And I tell you this by way of letting you know that the work that you do here is so important because you are spreading not only a love of theater, but all kinds of other information in the process. And everybody who works with you, everybody who comes in contact with you only benefits from that. Keep it up, spread the love, keep letting live theater shine. It's what really we need. And when professional theater returns to New York State and New York City, please come back and support. We need you like never before. So in conclusion, please accept my gratitude for the mark that you've made on my life and for this wonderful community that you have created that continues to allow theater to thrive. I know my dad is looking down, thankful for what you've done as I am too. Enjoy. Awesome. Amen, sister. Love. Boy, what a testimonial. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You know, I forgot to mention Leo was one of our first tech guys. And in 1982, yeah. the first show, he rented something called, I think it's called a video cassette recorder or VCR. So we could have that show that we still have it today, thanks to him. So thank you, Leo. Thank you, Leo. Appreciate it. You're great. Yep. Great testimony. Uh, so that's a you know what Karen said is so true. The light we spread, the happiness, the yeah. the skills, everything that we do. And if you guys see anything that you like and, and you and you're feeling it in your heart to like join us, please do so. Go on our website, mscptheater.org and join us and, and make sure you hit that contact. And make sure that you that you that you let us know that you want to be a part of us. We everybody has a part here. You're always welcome. We 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 are a community. Everybody, there's no ego, and if there is, there's no time for it. You know, we are a group of people who are about being together and building people up. We're, we are we are a theater group like no other. And again, if you feel if if you feel in your heart that also you'd like to donate um, to us. You can go on that same web website and and be able to, you know, kind of click on that button and whatever whatever amount you want is fine. We, I mean, we we just appreciate whatever you give us, um, if anything. If and if you just give us a prayer, that's fine too. We are just, you know, uh, we are totally grateful to our audience and to all of the people that um, sponsor us and and support us. And uh, we are able to, to, to bring you good theater and we want to be able to do that for another 40 years. So it would be wonderful. Right. And the money goes to getting upgrades for equipment, buying more wood for the stage. Um, in fact, we, Audio. we had one piece of wood last stage that wouldn't take any more paint <laughs> because it had so much paint on it. We really got our money's worth out of it. It would just drip yep. right down. It was crazy. So we got to get some new wood. So we'd appreciate any donations you could give us. It goes to a good cause. We have a lot of yep. fun. We didn't mention too, you know, that on Thursday nights is our free seniors night. And yes. we have seniors bust in from uh, local uh, care facilities typically. And of course, just walk-ins, but they come in and they have an excellent time. They love getting out. They love eating yes. food they can't get at their facilities like uh, popcorn chips. and chips, beer, and gone. so forth. <laughs> <laughs> so they have an excellent time. 
and they're a great uh, audience we, and we love doing they're our favorite they're our best audience patrick usually yeah. we know yeah. if we're gonna soar with our seniors we miss you so yeah. much we know you've you've just we miss you and we can't wait to see you next year i am just gonna be so full of love when i see all you guys back in the in the center and just give y'all hugs. I don't care. I'll put my mask on. I'll put the antibacterial soap on. Y'all getting their hug <laughs> because I just, we miss you so much and you're our favorite audience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And your laughter is the best. You guys have the best yeah. laughter. I, that's, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah. So Patrick, did we um, yes. happen to um, get like a winner yet? For the free You know pizza? what? I believe we did. Huh. Let's see. I know who we can give it to. A lady named Jan Denard. Jan, oh. you're the big winner. So thank yes. you. Margo will be contacting you for your free Parkside pizza. And I envy you. If you need somebody to come over and help you eat it, it's going to be that girl right there. She'll do it. She, oh, she loves pizza. I would, happy, <laughs> I would be happy to join you or you can get some of your family. It's all about family, yeah. guys. It's all about bringing everybody yeah. together. And so when we bring people together, we bring our ideas together. And um, again, uh, we are going to be giving a free giveaway every night. So stay, come back tomorrow um, and watch us live and try it for another goodie. Um, thank you, Jan. Woohoo, Jan. Thank you, Jan. Woo, Jan. Thank you. Thanks for spreading the word. <laughs> Appreciate so, it. So we got it. We still got more entertainment to go. You know, we've got a little bit more. And, we got a little uh, bit more. So yeah. Patrick, do you want to introduce this next clip? Because it has to be yeah, pizza. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So this next one is very appropriately called um, the worst pies in Menden pizza pies. And Maria Halfman wrote it with Jeff Cook. And they both star in it. And um, they got inspired by Sweeney Todd with this it's a parody. Clip. It's a parody. And, and just to let you know, there are no bad pies in Menden. They're all good. We love no, 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 no. It, it's it's just a parody. It's just fun. It's, a parody. it's just a parody. It's just fun. Yeah. So let's you. roll it. Oh, there's the can. There it is. <gasps> a customer. Wait, where's your rush? Where's your hurry? You gave me such a fright. I thought you was a ghost. Have a minute, can't you sit? Sit you down, sit! All I meant is that I haven't seen a customer in weeks. Did you come in for a slice? Uh, do forgive me if my head's a little vain. What was that? But you think we had the play? By the way, the people keep avoiding. No, you don't. Heaven knows I try, son. You look sick. You're looking rather pale. Yes, you are. Would you like a drop of ale? Mind you, I can hardly blame them. These are probably the worst pies in Mandan. I know why nobody cares to take them. I should know I make them. But good, no, the worst pies in Mandan. Even that's polite, the worst.
Another great piece. So again, Love your it. dreams, you know, this, this was an idea that Maria had and Jeff helped her mm -hmm. and both wrote it and they created something and it's, it's so cool. So what you guys are going to see in the next eight days, uh, well, not eight days, but the next three weeks, the next eight shows is you're going to see different hosts and they're going to give you their perspective of their snacky experience. We, and there's something for everybody. So if tonight you're just like, eh, whatevs, you know, come back. You might like it uh, next to, to, you know, the next time. You will like it. You'll uh, love it. You, you will, actually, because it's very, very cool. And you, you get perspectives from other people. So tomorrow we have Dave and Travis. And yep. um, Saturday we have Margo. Okay. And then next week we have Dave and Travis part two. And then we have Elsa and Bruce on Friday. And then we have Patrick and Don on Saturday. And then the next week on Thursday, we have Frank and Travis. And then we have Janine and Don on Friday. And then the last show is actually the Schnacky Awards. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's highlighting and doing an award show. So that'll be fun. And I believe Patrick, we're probably going to put on the TV guide chart thing on Facebook or something so people could see kind of what's what yeah it's, doing it's actually it. on the website um mscptheater.com okay. we do have it so if you guys want to like i say a tv guide kind of thing we wrote something up for you so you see what's going on every night get a little synopsis and um who's going to be hosting that night and so forth so you might want to you might want to uh, go see that you can download it print it out if you like and yep we hope to see you every night regardless so yeah um yeah and I know we had a little issue with Zoom tonight, so we're going to fix that so that tomorrow it'll be better just to let you guys know. Uh, so if you did try to go on Zoom, we'll, we'll figure that out for you. Um, but otherwise, because we But had, the show is recorded and yep. will be put up on YouTube and, uh, and Facebook, Facebook, I do believe. So you'll yes. be able to see the whole show and share it, we hope. Right. And we hope if you, you like it. If you miss it, it so. you can watch it if you know of someone uh, that if you want to share those things. So... If you missed a little, you missed a lot, right, Andrea? Oh, that's right. And also, the last night is the Sentinel Annual Reader's Choice Awards, um, which mm -hmm. is another award that the Sentinel has. So if there's two award nights in one. So it'll be a fun, entertaining show. And we want to thank the Sentinel um, to, for hosting uh, and helping us out, too, and being one of our sponsors. Um, Appreciate it very much. So just remember that we are a group like no other and we are all about people. And so, and we're all about creativity. So Travis Piper is the, one of the founders along with Kathy and he wrote this next skit um, and it's a COVID skit, uh, but it, it's funny because he wrote this skit and then Saturday Night Live came out with one. So it was kind of interesting. It was similar, right Patrick? It was. And um, just one other little couple of factoids sure. there. We have had, I think, over 700 people involved in the players over the, well, 40 years. And we've entertained over 50,000 people. So that is crazy. That's And we've raised, I think, over $300,000 for the church yeah. and various causes that we support. So, yeah. I mean... What's not to love, right? So it's great. Yeah. So yeah, this last uh, one, uh, Travis Piper, our founder, got inspired by COVID. <laughs> and um, the story goes, him and uh, Kathy were at a uh, tour of one of the soap operas. And he remembered this and said, gee, I wonder how they would do it today in this COVID world, what it would look like. So we have uh, Maria is up to bat again, along with Jeff Cook. So let's see uh, what happens. All right, so, so here we are after the coronavirus shutdown, getting ready to resume shooting episodes of everybody's favorite soap opera. And today's exciting episode is entitled Love and Hate. As the episode begins, Brooke is in a quandary. I'm in such a quandary, Rich. 
I feel so strongly about you, but I dare not express my feelings openly. However, I could learn to love you. Oh, gosh darn it, Marty. I, I knew this plexiglass barrier was, was going to mess things all up. How am I supposed to approach her and win her over? Hey, you're the actor. Besides, the union's just trying to keep you safe. When you have to get closer than six feet, you need a barrier. That's what they do in meatpacking plants. Are you saying I'm a piece of meat? No, 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 that was just an example. Now try it again, Ridge, and stop just short of the barrier so you don't bump into it. All right, I, I tell you, it's not gonna work. Okay, Brooke, give him the line again. I'm in such a quandary, Ridge. I feel so strongly about you, but I dare not express my feelings openly. However, I could learn to love you. Yes. Yes, you could learn to love me. I know you can. We could be so very happy together. Happy? Yes, perhaps. But what if things change between us? I can't imagine that ever happening. But you said, Marty, I can't do this. I'm an actress, not an exhibit in a zoo. I know, I know. Just calm down. Remember, it's because you are such a great actress that I know you can do this. Now try it again and just stop short of the barrier like Ridge did so you don't bump into it. I will do it and I won't like it only because you said so. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Ridge, if you give her the line again. I can't imagine that ever happening. But you said we were we were perfect for each other and that and that that would never change. Didn't you mean that? Of course I meant that. I love you so much. I I just want to put my arms around you and tell you that over and over again. And I want the same. Cut. <laughs> That's a wrap, people. Let's take a break. After that, we'll move on to hate. <laughs> so that's so COVID. Like what we wanna, yeah, so COVID like we kind of want to leave that, you know, with you. The, fa the fact that we created this show uh, so that you guys could be entertained. We could entertain you. It's just all about connection. And I know a lot of us are missing that. And we just want to say thank you for joining us. Uh, it means a lot to us. It means a lot that you're here. Uh, we miss you a lot. We're sending a lot of prayers and love to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Patrick, it's been great, like, hosting with you. It's so much fun. I wish, you know, we could have been together and host, but this is better than nothing, I you know. know? I know. What can you do? We did our best, and uh, it came out great. So we really appreciate you guys showing up. And um, hope you share this with your friends so we'll get even more people watching. And, yeah. Um, there's something you'd like yeah. to say to the audience, Andrea? Well, before I want to say that, come back tomorrow. Come back Saturday. It's yes. going to be a new show every night. All right? And we miss you a lot. And I just want to say, because I wrote it down, and I got to look for it. <laughs> and let's see. Here we go. All right. First of all, you guys, it's about you, 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 you. So remember, mm -hmm. the audience, you are always number one. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number since the number one. No is the saddest experience you'll ever know. You win.